Hi everybody, you want to construct the king demand curve to show rigid prices in oligopoly. How do you construct the diagram? Well, before we construct it, it's worth going back to a mental checklist. What are you trying to show? You're trying to show a demand curve or an average revenue curve with an elastic portion and an inelastic portion, a vertical gap in the MR curve that you're going to draw, and then two MC curves going through that vertical gap. All of this will help you show the idea of rigid prices on a diagram. Let's get going with the construction. We have price, costs, and revenue on the y-axis, and we have quantity on the x-axis. Next thing to do is to draw your king demand curve. So an elastic portion and then an inelastic portion. And the label here is average revenue, which is equal to demand. At the kink, we get our price and our quantity. So let's call that P1 and the quantity of Q1. Next, and I'll do it in a different colour, we have to draw our marginal revenue curve, which is going to be twice as steep as both of these two curves. So the way to do it, twice as steep for the first se uh, section of the demand curve up until Q1. Let's do that. Alright, so twice as steep, and stop when you hit the quantity Q1. Now being pedantic, the next part of the marginal revenue curve, so the second portion, the inelastic portion, needs to start below the x-axis because if you lower the price when demand is inelastic there'll be a fall in revenue so marginal revenue has got to start uh, at zero and then go negative to make that point clear okay so being pedantic your marginal revenue curve is going to be twice as steep looking something like that the key thing you're doing is leaving that vertical gap all right so you stop with the first part of the mr curve at q1 leave the vertical gap and then continue with the MR curve at the x-axis and going beyond. Next we want to draw is the marginal cost curve. So draw two marginal cost curves. Let's say MC1 and MC2. But those two marginal cost curves should be in the vertical gap. The lower one is MC1, the higher one is MC2, making the point that even if costs rise, as long as they rise within this vertical gap, we will get back to P1 if this firm is a profit maximizer. All right. So that is what you need to draw. If you want to connect up this vertical gap, so then you have one kind of marginal revenue curve here, then you then you've done it and it looks good. So that's the diagram there. That's the construction. So your king demand curve first, your marginal revenue curve next with that vertical gap, and with the second chunk of marginal revenue starting at the x-axis and going negative. Then your marginal cost curve is cutting through it, and we are done. So let's go through our checklist, have we labelled our axis? Yep, we have. Have we labelled our curves? There are lots of curves to label, to label properly. We have done that. Have we labelled our equilibrium, i.e. where the kink is? Yes, we have. Have we shown an elastic and inelastic portion clearly? Yes, we have. I mean, nicely drawn too. The vertical gap is nice and clear. The two marginal cost curves going through the vertical gap, again, is very clear. In which case, we are done. Practice this one. It's not as easy as it may look. Practice it. Train your hand and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.